In Boruto the Next Generation, Sasuke and Sarada have a pretty cool relationship. He comes home a lot more than he used to. But even still, Sarada knows nothing about her family or the Uchiha clan. Well in this story, she's about to learn a little more. Deep within the hidden leaf forest, you can hear the clinging of metal as Sarada practices her shuriken techniques. From swiftly slinging shurikens around corners and throwing kunai at each other to redirect their trajectory. After hours of practice, Sasuke finally tells her it's time to spar a little. As they stand in front of each other, in silence, a leaf falls from a tree. As it hits the ground, they begin fighting. Sarada seems to be holding her own against Sasuke who clearly isn't trying. He comes with a swift punch, she blocks. Then a kick, she evades. As the spar continues, Sasuke starts to try a little more and eventually he starts to overpower her and she jumps back in response. He proceeds to throw shurikens at her and she deflects them well. While Sarada is deflecting shurikens, Sasuke jumps out of her field of vision. As she searches for him, she can't find him. Then Sasuke jumps out and shoots a fireball. And as fluid as could be, Sarada turns her Sharingan on and moves out of the way without hesitation. Sasuke then says, I think that's enough for today. Sarada wants to continue as she just turned her Sharingan on, but eventually she concedes. As they start to leave the forest, Sasuke notices something feels weird, as if something or someone is watching them. Then, almost out of nowhere, a hooded man shows up. As the man is standing in front of them, Sasuke and Sarada stop moving, waiting for the man to say or do something, but he doesn't. And then, without saying a single word, he proceeds to weave hand sounds, and ends it by clapping his hand. As soon as he does, a wooden box soon starts to come out of the ground. Sasuke, having fought against Kabuto directly, knew these hand signs all too well. Edo Tensei. As the box started to open, Sarda asks, Who is that? After a couple of seconds with no response, Sarda looks towards Sasuke, only to see him tearing up and crying. Then as she looks at the unknown figure in the box, she sees he has a hidden leaf headband. Sasuke filling with anger says to Sarada, That is my brother. He died a long time ago. As Sasuke starts to reminisce on his brother's past, the man reveals his face to be Kaijin Koji. Koji then says, fear is what teaches. Sasuke responds with, you're wrong. Never quitting is what teaches. Koji then goes on to talk about what Itachi taught Sasuke and the things he learned. While speaking, Sasuke abruptly interrupts him and says, I can tell you don't understand what my brother really lived for. Kaijin Koji then begins to talk about the 7th Hokage and Jiraiya as if Sasuke didn't say anything. As he finishes, Sasuke then talks about his past and how the road to revenge leads to nowhere. As he is talking, Sarada is thinking about who that man is and eventually asks Sasuke why he never told her about his brother. Sasuke stands there and grits his teeth as if he doesn't want to even speak. But then, he finally responds with, It didn't matter. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this fanfiction. I know it was kind of short and just cuts off, but that's all there was to this chapter. If more drops, I'll be sure to cover it. So be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment below telling me what you guys want me to do next. With that being said, peace. Someone that's afraid to let go uh. You decide if you ever